Okay, thank you for the introduction, Erika. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Shinya Imara. So I'm a postdoc at Wilmot Labs. So I'm really happy to share this moment with my colleagues uh, because this award wasn't just thanks to one person, but to my colleagues' effort. Okay, so the left figure shows the structure of small intestine. The inner lining of the gut consists of the single layer of intestinal epithelium, and they play the important role for the nutrition absorption and prevent, uh, prevention of the pathogen uh, invasion. The intestinal epithelium is composed of uh, virus and uh, uh, U-shaped crypt parts, and at the crypt bottom, there are stem cells. So right figure shows the uh, epithelial regeneration. The stem cell existing at the crypt bottom uh, give, rise to, uh, give rise to the transit amplifying T cells. And T cells generate the differentiated cells. And these differentiated cells migrate to the tip of BRI and are, are expelled into the uh, intestinal lumen. So most of the epithelial cells generate, generated from stem cells are replaced every three to five days. So that in small intestine, there are parent cells uh, adjacent to the stem cell. Uh, they, uh, they support uh, the stem cell maintenance. Moreover, in the tumor case, uh, stem cells are considered to be the cell of, uh, of origin. So in this way, the stem cells are a key player uh, for the intestinal physiology and the cancer. So for this reason, so we are studying the intestinal stem cell biology. So Wilmot's lab is especially interested in the interaction between the diet and the stem cells. And we are studying the regenerative activity of stem cells and the different dietary conditions, such as the high fat diet and the intermi intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting intervention is well known to have a lot of benefit for our health. So and it has two phases, that is the fasting phase and the refilling phase. So I'm very interested in the stem cell response to the different phase and studying the uh, stem cell function in, the, uh, in each phase. So to address the stem cell function and the different dietary condition, so we are using the various genetic mouse model. So this picture mouse model enables the red fluorescent labeling of stem cells and progenies derived from stem cells upon the regent administration. So this yellow arrow, the uh, stem cell, which have a uh, uh, thin shape and red fluorescent. This asterisk shows the parent cells marked in green. And this, uh, uh, a uh, pink dot allows, uh, allows show the progeny, which are newly generated from stem cells post region administration. So you can see there are still non red fluorescent uh, epithelials marked, uh, marked in blue at the upper crypt, because it takes uh, five days uh, for all epithelial, uh, epithelial replacement. And we correct that this intestinal tissue two days post region administration. Uh, and this figure shows the comparative experiment result using this model. Uh, when we label the fluorescent in the stem cell from control and the post fast refed mice, the number of the progeny uh, generate, uh, generated from stem cells uh, in a certain period is larger uh, in the refed mice compared to the, uh, compared to the control mice, indicating that the post fasting the refeeding state uh, increase the regenerative capacity of the stem cell. So from this result, I'm also studying the, uh, how post-fast uh, post refeeding impact intestinal stem cell, uh, in, intestinal tumor initiation. Okay, I'd like to thank uh, my mentor, Professor Mel Wilmot, uh, offering the guidance and the suggestion uh, for my project, uh, Renan Kurira, so he was a visiting student uh, from Brazil. Uh, he helped, uh, he helped uh, my project a, a lot. So I'm grateful for his effort and support. And I also would like to thank uh, Chao Wei Cheng uh, for establishing this genetic mouse model. 
I also uh, appreciate run manager Kerry. So these are uh, uh, research found and this is my fellowship. So lastly, uh, the picture was taken almost two years ago uh, with my kids. So this year, I hope to share my uh, image with them. Uh, thank you for your attention.